Shalom, before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom on Tana Akim and his truth and sincerity. And I want to do this lesson starting off with this scripture, Amos 9 and verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai are upon this sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay? So the eyes of the Lord, God, it says, which God means power, which the true name of the Heavenly Father, the one who the world ignorantly calls God, his name is Yahweh. Okay? That's his one and only name, his true name. Yahweh, which means he exists. That's what Yahweh means. Okay, he exists or he to be because he's always existed and he always will exist. And the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is Yahweh Shai. That's his true name. Okay, that's his true name, which Yahweh Shai means he deliverer or he savior or he is a savior. Okay, because he's coming to save the elect of the nation of Israel. But it says the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord are the angels. Okay. Which the angels, they maneuver around and they travel around in what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. Okay. They're not UFOs. Okay. Because the scriptures identify what they are. Those ships are the chariots of Israel. Okay. The chariots the chariots of salvation, which I have a video right here. I wasn't really planning on showing it. Posted by GMS Watchman. I forget what this brother's name is. No, oh, dude, that's not a helicopter. It's like a orb. Look at it. What? Look at it. It's not a. No, it's just a white dot moving real slow. Not a helicopter. You a helicopter. Look at it. It's moving weird too. All right, those are the eyes of the Lord, the chariots. That's what they're called, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. And as you can see in this video, this was one that was caught on camera in Atlanta, which it just happens to be Pride Month. And that's really what inspired this lesson. As you know, it's it's Pride Month, all right? So I, that's why I started off with that scripture, because that sinful kingdom is speaking about America, all right? First and foremost, it's speaking about the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, because all Israel isn't going to be saved on, on this go around, okay? Only the elect of the nation of Israel. Ultimately, the whole nation will be saved, but right now, only the elect will be saved, just going, just like as in the days of Noah, okay? That's why Yahweh Shai made that statement, as in the days of Noah, because in the days of Noah, everyone wasn't saved. The elect in those days was Noah, his wife, his sons, and their wives, which was only eight people, that was the elect back in those days. And these in these times, the only one that's going to survive that thermonuclear destruction, which is how America will be destroyed, is the elect of the nation of Israel. Let me read that scripture one more time. Salakia. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, are upon the sinful kingdom. So the, the Lord, as you saw in that video, his angels are constantly uh surveying and observing. Everything that's going on, all the wickedness is going on in, in America, which America is going to be 100% destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Okay, America is going to be completely wiped out. His eyes, the angels are, are in every place. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. There's a precept that actually says that. All right, Proverbs 15 and 3, it says, The eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So that lets you know right there 
that the angels are everywhere and they're in every place. They're they're watching everything that's going on. All all the wickedness that America that's going on in America, okay? And it's just the Lord is just building up a case on America, as it says in Revelation 18, her sins have reached into the heavens, okay? The Lord, the angels, they're they're recording all the wickedness that's going on. They're writing it down, and the, the sins are so great that it's reached up to the heavens. So the Lord, pretty soon the Lord is going to step in and, and, and do something about it, all right? He's already doing something, but he's really going to do something with that destruction. And that's why it says... And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So he's going to just completely destroy America in the two thirds. All right. And anyone else that's, that's in America that's not of the elect, he's going to completely destroy them off the face of the earth. And the only thing, the only weapon that can do that in these times are the thermonuclear missiles. That's why the Heavenly Father had it set up to where those missiles were invented in the first place. It says that in uh, in Isaiah, how uh, he 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 created the smith that blow up the coals <coughs> and make it the uh, an instrument. That's speaking about the missiles, but it said he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. That's speaking about the elect. Let me read that part in the NLT. It says, "I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. I will destroy it from the face of the earth, but I will never completely destroy the family of Israel," says the Lord. All right, and pursuant to Malachi, uh, I believe Malachi 3 and 6, I want to say, yeah, Malachi or 4 and 6, uh, the Lord said, I change not. So he said he was not going to completely destroy the family of Israel. So the Israelites will never be done away with, okay? For you wacky tacky uh, Christians that try to... Uh, to try to push that replacement theology. That's not the truth. All right. That's blasphemy. You're you're adding and taking away because the house of Israel is forever. There was always a remnant that the Lord is going to save. So next scripture I'm going to get is Second Edges and the Apocrypha chapter 8. Eight and uh, 50. Second Edges chapter 8 and verse 50. It says for many great miseries. For many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in the latter time. Uh, for many of them that dwell in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Because they're so pr proud that, that they think they're not going to be judged for what they're doing. All right. And you know what I'm talking about. Look at this madness. All right. Look at this. I don't even got it. the 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 titles of these uh, articles speak for themselves. All right, they think that they're so proud. They think they could just keep on doing that wickedness and not be judged, but they're sorely mistaken. All right, because judgment got to come. They're they're doing too much wickedness. All right, these damn devils, the Edomites, the so called white race. All right, Job 9 and 24 says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked are the Edomites. All right, Malachi chapter 1. Go to Malachi chapter 1. That, that tells you who the wicked are. The Edomites, and they're the one who's pushing this wickedness, man. They're the one who's pushing this, this prideful spirit because they think they're the, that the Heavenly Father is not going to judge them. All right. Okay, like it says in uh, Romans, the first chapter, which matter of fact, let me get that real quick. All right. Let me get that. Uh, Romans chapter one. Let me see. I think it's near the end. Uh, let me see here. Yep. This was the Apostle Paul. He was going in, man. He was in the spirit. Rebuking that that demonic sodomite prideful spirit. Romans chapter one and twenty six. It says, "For this cause the Most High gave them up to unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So even the this this applies to this time more than ever, man. Because we're America is known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt. 
pursuant to Revelation the eleventh chapter. Okay, this this country is spiritually Sodom and Egypt because this place upholds, uh, it 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 upholds, okay, and puts on a, and pedestalizes, if that's even a word, sodomites, man. Okay, moles. This place puts moles on a pedestal. And tries to put, promote that to all these other nations, all right? Which, that's the wine of Babylon. And that's why this place is going to be destroyed, among many other reasons. Okay? But this has to be addressed. Okay? It has to be addressed. And you can read that in the NLT as well. It says, verse 27, it says, And likewise, the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which is which was meet. So the Lord's going to judge them for their actions, for their demonic evil actions. Okay, look at what He did to Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, look how that ended out. Look how look at how that went for them. Okay, it ended in. Fire and brimstone, which the modern day fire and brimstone are those hypersonic ICBMs. All right, 200 million of them is going to hit America and that's going to wipe this place off the face of the earth. All right, verse 28, even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Okay, let me read that in the NLT. It says, Since they thought it foolish to acknowledge the Most High, He abandoned them to their foolish thinking and let them do things that should never be done. So the Lord, because they were proud and rebellious against the Heavenly Father, they didn't want to seek the Lord. The Lord, He, he put that demon on them. Okay? Through the spiritual demon Satan, through the so-called white man, which is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, the Lord allowed that demon to jump on them through Satan, okay? Because he wanted to destroy them, all right? Because they wasn't right. And that's why the, this wicked world is going to be destroyed, all right? America is going to be destroyed, all right? And the land of Israel is going to get hit with, 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 with nukes too. But the only difference is America will never be built back up. That's the this is the only landmass that's never going to be built back up. Verse twenty nine, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers. This is uh, backbiters, haters of the Most High, and the the, the the America, the majority of people they hate the Most High, man. Even people that claim that they believe in the Bible, even people. Even individuals that claim to be Israelites, all right, in word, but they, they, they indeed, they, they deny the Lord, okay? They, they, they speak uh, good things uh, of their, um, how's the scripture said? Uh, with their mouth, that they, they honor him, but in their, in their works, they deny him, okay? It says, despiteful, proud. Bolsters, inventors of evil things, the disobedient to parents, and this generation completely fit, fits this description, man. They're guilty, and the Lord's gonna judge them. Now, next scripture I'm gonna get. Second Ezra 15. And uh 15 and 18, it says. For because of their pride, I could really start up, but I'm not trying to make this too long. This is going into the day of the Lord, all right? Jacob's trouble. I'll just I'll just get to the point. Second verse 15 to 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid because of these people's pride, all right? The the the, the pride of these uh of these people in the world, all right? The pride of the world itself. The Lord is about to bring massive judgment, man. That's why the city shall be troubled. You saw in that video, it was a so-called UFO. It was a chariot. All right? 
and, and, and that day, man, the day of the Lord, people are going to see a lot more chariots. And they're going to be up close and personal, like the movie War of the Worlds. And they're going to be getting zapped by laser beams. All right, Isaiah 66 and 15 will tell you that. The Lord's going to come with fire. He's going to come with that, them laser beams and zap people. All right, the ones who, 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 who were uh, predestined for destruction, the Lord's going to zap them. And then when the, right before those missiles come, he, the Lord's going to bring them right back to life so they could get hit with a missile. That's how terrible the Lord is, man. That's why us in this truth, Lord willing, we're of the elect. That's why we're, we're fighting to be on the Lord's good side. So when he comes back, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't judge us with the world. When he comes back, he'll, he'll protect us, as it says in Psalms 91. All right, uh, next scripture I'm going to get is Isaiah... 11, Isaiah 11 and 13, or 11 and 11. What's like it? Isaiah 13 and 11. It says, I will punish, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So the Lord's about to humble this whole world, man. That's why it says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord when he returns, man. Because the Lord's presence is going to be so powerful when, when Yahweh Shai returns with the armies of, of, of heaven. Okay, his presence is going to be so powerful. Everyone will just automatically bow. All right, every, every molecule in their body, every cell in their body it's just going to make them hit the ground and bow down because his power is just going to be so, so, uh, it's just going to be so, uh, uh, heavy. His power and his presence will be so heavy. These people are just automatically just going to bow down. Okay. But us, Lord willing, we're the elect. We're, we're willingly going to bow down because we already know we want this to happen. We want Yahweh Shah to come back, man. Okay. We're not just, just, just blowing smoke, okay? We, we, we really believe that Yahweh Shai will crack them clouds and, and deliver us. That's our hope, man. But he's going to cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. All these proud-ass uh, two-thirds, all, especially Esau. Esau is the most proud, the so-called white man. The Lord's going to, as it says, lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. The terrible, that's speaking about Esau, man. So I'm going to end off with this, Malachi chapter 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And that day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So all the wicked are going to be reduced to ashes, man, by thermonuclear fire. And all the ones that, that took that, that MOTB, okay, that little device that's the size of a, of a, of a grain of rice, so all the ones who took that and bowed down to the image, all right, the image of the beast, they're gonna be, they're gonna taste of that thermonuclear destruction. So Lord willing, this list of edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to end off again by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect.